All right, hello everyone. It's Chris here again from the Kilo Code team. And today we will be comparing two different models. We have a new stealth model called Supernova, and we're gonna be comparing its performance to Sonnet, the tried and true Sonnet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give both of them the exact same prompt, and we're gonna to try to have it build a copy of this old school Tetris game, and we'll see just how well each of them do. So I have started with this template vanilla game engine. It's just a sample re a Vite project, um, but with no implementation to it. And so I'm going to copy that twice. One will be Supernova and the other will be Sonnet. And then once I launch a new instance of code, it'll auto trigger the prompt in each of these folders and we'll just get started working on the project. So let's go ahead and trigger Supernova. And here we go, it's opened the project. It's automatically started. Here's the image if you're having trouble reading it. So here we go, we've explicitly given it the image. It should have the ability, KiloCode does allow it to read images from the file system, but sometimes it needs some extra encouragement. We're looking into that actively right now. All right, now it has a big to-do list. So while that runs, I'm just gonna shrink that and put it over here. And let's launch our other copy with Sonnet, but let's make sure I get this right. And in its launch prompt, we want to make sure we use Sonnet. Okay, here we go. Now we'll launch the Sonnet version. Same thing, I'll give it the image. All right, here's the image. All right, now we'll just see how well these two do. Petrominoes, cool. That's a fun way of doing it. Uh, that's on the supernova side. And now let's see how Sonnet does. All right. Note the time. Oh, cool. It did write it down. Nice. That is part of the prompt. Cool. Looking at the time, how many seconds and minutes did it take you to finish the entire thing? All right, we're thinking. All right, two minutes. And now in free because it's a free model. And now let's see how long and how much it costs for Sonnet to do the same thing. Maybe we could run this. Could you run the game for me and then give me the URL that I could load? Please do all those things for me.
Interesting. It's very concerned about adhering to the challenge. Okay, well, I can do it. Errors, errors. Hey, let's see what we got. So this is coming from Code Supernova. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool. The pieces are even glowing. How do I rotate? Oh, up and down rotate. Okay, it's very fast. It's actually kind of hard to do. But it seems like it's working pretty well. Good job, Code Supernova. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Okay. And now, let's see how long it takes for Sonnet to do the same thing. Right, so it's still working on the styles here. Let's go ahead and give it the queued instruction. When you're done, look at the start and the end time that you recorded and let me know how, how long did it take you to finish this task in minutes and seconds. Oh, that's another interesting, I'd call that a bug. Uh, that queued message I wouldn't have expected to trigger until the entire thing was done. So that's something I'll look into right after this video. All right, could you build and run the game? on port 5174. Let's run it. Okay, let's see how this one compares. So here is, this is the Supernova one. Here is the Sonnet one. Oh my gosh, it even gives you a little ghost preview. I think that's kind of cheating, actually. I rotate it. Pretty good. One thing I feel like Sonnet always does is it always gives you really clear instructions on how to like use the things that it builds, which is kind of nice. It's very like a very human thing. I feel like developers in general are not very good at uh, giving instructions to users. Let's see if I can get some lines here. Hey, hey, cool. It does work. Oh my gosh, I can even pause it. Good job, Sonnet. You continually impress me. But what we're here to do is to compare the two. And so Grox is pretty good overall. It's kind of hard to play because of this. So it's kind of hard for me to like check to see if it's scoring right, but it looks pretty good overall. And so if we compare the, the running time, how long did it say? So it took five minutes and 12 seconds. Please bring up a comparison table where the columns are sonnet and supernova and the rows are time, cost, and quality. All right, and to give you the data for Supernova, Supernova took two minutes and three seconds. It cost zero dollars, and the quality, I'd give it a eight, while I'd give you a nine and a half. All right, let's look at our results one more time. So overall, 
it's pretty, pretty good. Supernova's pretty cool for being free. So I highly recommend checking it out. On, it's available on Kilocode right now, free for a limited time. Thank you.